Well, welcome to this wood carving knife overview video. Today we are going to be looking at uh, the set of knives from Drake Carving Knives. And we will get started by checking out the blades. So I want to pull these two out first to look at. Uh, both of these um, have a similar profile and uh, I think a really recognizable uh, Drake style there. Uh, the one on the left is a one and a half inch detail blade, and the one on the right is called a large detail blade. It's a, a two inch version, but you can see the shape is very similar. Notable things about um, the Drake detail blades is this large extended choil that keeps it um, up and away from the handle, which keeps your handle from bumping into carvings, and it also uh, makes sharpening pretty easy to keep it on your on your strop there. Uh, if I roll them over sideways like this and you take a look at the, the backs, they're both uh, very thin blades uh, and ground very well to come to a great uh, detail point up at the top. So uh, this one obviously very, very well suited to detail work. Um, I wouldn't do much heavy roughing with, with this one. It's very thin and, and light. Um, this one you can definitely rough with, but the, the tip is... Uh, pointed enough that you can really do some uh, detailing with that one as well if you can get up uh, onto that point. You'll also notice that they have a very um, uh, mirror polish finish. Uh, so you can see that there they come um, highly polished, uh, really excellent looking knives. And one thing that um, don't always notice on, on these knives, but uh, the spine on these is just uh, rounded off very well, very smooth, uh, which means that when you're pushing it with your thumb, which you often do, uh, push push like that while you're carving this thumb um, rests very comfortably on there uh, with that smooth spine. This knife is uh, their sheep's foot uh, design, and you can see it's similar in length. They're both one and a half inch blades here. Uh, but just a little bit of a wider knife, so you can rough a little bit more with this one, but it's still got a good tip for uh, potential detail. You can see it's just slightly wider than um, the detail knife, um, but a little bit stronger for more roughing uses. This one on the left is a little bit different. It's a um, small detail knife, a uh, three-quarter inch blade. Uh, just a, a tiny little knife for getting into little spots and adding detail works really well. And, Cutting out corners of eyes, little triangles, and and things like that where where you need to. So next, let's take a look at the handles on these. And this is one thing I really love about the the Drake knives is um, I have a preference for a handle that has a, a wider handle toward the bottom that'll really fill my my palm well and then uh, that I can pinch up towards the top between my thumb and the forefinger. To me, this is a really excellent handle shape. Now, that's my preference. Uh, you may prefer something different. I don't have huge hands. I don't have tiny hands, but I really love the way that this fits into my, into my hand. Um, all three of these knives have that, um, what they call the ergonomic knife shape. They do offer a couple other shapes that I don't have, um, but I love this shape. I will note that uh, these tend to be a little bit on the wider side, and again, I don't have huge hands, but man, they feel really good to me. I, I like that width. It helps me feel like I've got a good grip on it, especially on this bigger one. And the other thing you'll notice, there's a good variety of woods that they're using, really beautifully finished uh, knives. Now, they're, they're smooth. They're not slippery in any way, um, and they're not um, sticky, but... Uh, they're not uh, they're 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 not gonna slide out of your hand. They probably stick a little bit more than some of the other knives. Um, they've got a little bit more of a glossy sheen of a finish, which you can see there. But um, it's good. It's it's a little bit grippy and will stay in your hand well. This small one uh, obviously has a little bit of a different design, just for um, smaller detail. I think it works fine for um, for what it is. You're mostly going to be holding it up here and not really roughing with it. So it stays in your palm and uh, works well. And it is really a, a beautiful little knife as well.
So next, let's take a look at any extras with these knives. Um, these knives don't come with any additional sheaths or uh, extra things with them. Um, one thing that I will say, uh, even though it's not the focus of these videos, is that the palm tools, the palm tools from Drake are also excellent. So um, I've got a number of these, and uh, what's that? That's a little number nine quarter inch. Um, they make really fantastic palm tools, which is out of scope for <laughs> for this video. But as far as extra things to know about Drake. Um, uh, their V tools especially are some of my absolute favorites and I use them for carving all of the the hair and things that I do on my characters So last let's take a quick look at how these perform on the wood So I'll start with our big roughing knife here and I'll just take that Those other cuts off and you'll see it's just sliding right through there um these knives, I haven't really had to do any extra sharpening other than stropping. Uh, you can make some really good cross cuts with this strong blade. Um, with the detail blade, uh, I wouldn't do quite as much uh, hard cutting like that, but down here, you make some really clean little detailed stop cuts and corner cuts. Um, work great for taking out little chips if you want to. Uh, just a very good um, detailed focus. So the the combination of the the detail with the, the roughing out really will do quite a bit for you. The sheep's foot is kind of a best of both worlds. Uh, you can do some good roughing cuts and cross cuts but uh, using that tip you can still do some great um, stop cuts and details as well. So that's the Drake Knife um, lineup. They do have um, several other blade shapes uh, to choose from. These are the ones that I have, uh, but these are great knives and may fit your needs really well if you get the chance to use them. Um, I'm sure you'll enjoy them.